Hey people, thanks for tuning in Pack News again. So it's time for us to talk about season three of Master of None. Uh, you can watch my other video on the first two seasons. And I really needed to do a separate video for season three. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna start with this. I mentioned in my previous episode that Master of None had a 100% score in Rotten Tomatoes for the first two seasons. Um, did you check the score now? Yeah, it dropped down a little bit. Um, of course, it's never easy to keep up with a 100%. It's, it is impossible to make everyone happy. That's very, very clear. And season three of Master of None shows what we usually call mixed reviews. I would say a majority of reviews from critics are positive and it is more divided in, in within the fandom, let's say. Um, I am, I am watching, reading, listening to people saying that this season is a work of art or a masterpiece. But also some others saying that it is really boring. And let me tell you one thing, guys. Uh, I really get both sides. I, I get it, actually. Uh, I usually don't have this very rare feeling about not making up my mind on how much I like or how much I dislike a show or a movie. For, for those Star Wars fans uh, that are listening now, something similar happened with episode eight, The Last Jedi. Um, it is the one movie that really divided the fandom. Um, but in that case, I, I was more partial to, to consider The Last Jedi as a pretty good movie, uh, even with some flaws in the middle. And, and probably the best, I would say, the best of the of the last Star Wars sequel trilogy. Okay, uh, now season three of Master of None still baffles me. Um, so this is my take from this. If you're going to watch season three as a, <clears throat> sorry as a continuation from where season two left the story. If you want to know what finally happened between Dev and Francesca, if you want more uh, little bad, big bad adventures, uh, well, my friends, prepare for, for major disappointment. Uh, season three is not actually season three. It is called Master of None's Moments in Love for a reason. Uh, it definitely falls under the category of a, a spin-off product. It is what we can call a side story within the Master of None universe, if you will. Uh, so if you want comedy, this is going to be a, a big letdown, a, a major letdown, I, I would say. Uh, and I heard some people saying that this season three is a dramedy. I must disagree with that perspective um, because this is not a dramedy. This is full drama. Season three of Master of None is full drama. Uh, there are no funny moments uh, at all. Uh, and they didn't intend to include funny moments. There are some moments when you see characters uh, laughing or making one or two jokes, but that doesn't mean that they are trying to include comedy here. Master of None season three or Moments in Love uh, is drama 100%. And for some people, especially fans of this show, is too much of a tone change. It's a very drastic change of tone uh, compared to the previous two seasons. Um, let's put it let's put it this way. I know it's going to sound really exaggerated, but it's just <clears throat> it's just to make a point. Okay, so just stay with me here. Um, imagine if you watch the old Batman TV show, the one with Adam West. Remember the, the boogie dance? Well, uh, now imagine if after watching that show in the 60s, you travel in time forward and watch Joker with Joaquin Phoenix uh, with no stops and no other movies in the middle whatsoever. Uh, it's going to be one freaking hell of a change. Yeah, uh, you've been saying something like, uh, what the fuck happened here? It, it seems to, to be the same universe. I can see the Joker there, and I saw some kind of infant Batman, uh, but this is some weird, wicked version. That's what you would say in that situation. Uh, so you would say, what happened with my old family show? 
Um, so many Master of None fans feel that this is not what, what they signed up for. Uh, and again, I get it, I understand, uh, but be careful. We're not talking here about haters uh, or people that don't know crap about good filming or people that don't have enough patience and are just looking for some cheap uh, fan service. Um, no, I, I saw colleagues, like for example, my friend Mike from One Mike in his YouTube channel, uh, people that really know about art and quality filming and then they have a good background and they have studies and they can appreciate filmmakers that are audacious and creative and maybe they can appreciate what Ryan Johnson tried to do with Star Wars, maybe, for example, maybe, uh, or what Denis Villeneuve uh, did in Blade Runner 2049. Uh, I'm talking about people who can hold one fucking minute of silence. Uh, they can take some lingering or extended poses. They know about static shots. They know all that. And they are trained to appreciate it. Uh, but still, they watched Master of None, Moms in Love, season three. And they said, uh, you know what? This is just not entertaining. I get what Aziz Ansari is trying to do here. I appreciate he's trying to do something different, which is good. Uh, I can see he's making a point, but he doesn't need to prove his point in every single shot. And frankly, I don't know if I would recommend anyone to watch this. That's what they say. Uh, and, and again, I get it. I understand these complaints. I, I really do. So. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and start closing this review by letting people watch season three uh, once or twice and then draw their own conclusions. Uh, what I can say from my personal view about Master of None, Moments in Love, uh, aka season three, is this. Before, before the release of this new season, I, I, uh, and after watching the trailers and listening to Aziz Ansari and Lena White, who is now the new lead uh, actress in this season. Uh, I prepare myself for something completely different from the previous two seasons. Um, so I actually enjoyed it. I, I, I did enjoy season three. It's creative, it's classy, it's beautifully filmed, uh, it's, 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 it's really elegant. And they really tried not to take the short road here. Um, it would have been easier for them to put more Devon Arnold, Devon Arnold looking for, for girls and food in New York situations. But they tried to rock the boat a little bit. Uh, and I appreciate that. Mm, however, I must say that all that lingering, all that extremely long pauses, all those static shots only work and actually hit the target in one episode. Out of the five episodes, only in one episode, all that approach actually works. And this is in episode four of this season. Uh, episode four uh, is the only episode where all that approach makes full sense. It all comes together. And it is an outstanding episode, actually, with a superb performance by Naomi Aki, uh, the new star they introduce in this, in this season. Uh, it is the journey about a, bl about a black uh, single lesbian woman trying to become pregnant. A black single lesbian woman. It is intense and for moments it, it hurts like hell. You can really feel what the character is, is experiencing here is experiencing here. You can really feel it. Um, and I think the main contribution of this third season of Master of None is having visualized this serious social human conflict um, with style and good taste. Uh, the main flaw I can point out is precisely that they didn't meet the end point because we, you can consider season three uh, as a trial or as an experiment uh, within this show, 
if you will. Uh, so they didn't reach the, the goal in, in, in all the other, in the other four episodes. Only in that episode four, I would say. Um, but you know, it's just five episodes. So you can do a whole one night marathon. And I think it's still worthy. Uh, having said that, finally, uh, uh, if you ask me, what do I expect for uh, season four? Uh, if there is ever going to be a, a fourth season. Um, well, my friends, I honestly want comedy back. Yeah, I want comedy back. I don't mind the spin-off approach. They made a season about the Denise character here in season three. So maybe they could do a season about Arnold, for example. Why not? Uh, or maybe we could get to know what the heck happened between Francesca and Dev. Uh, or how he met this new girlfriend that we saw in this season uh, and who we don't know much about. Um, anyway, I feel that I still want to see more Master of None uh, and I want to see more about a season Sari. Uh, so we are interested as is. Uh, and again, criticism aside, thank you for being audacious. Uh, thank you for trying to do some something different and some good uh, filmmaking. Uh, that's that's a good thing, yeah, yeah. That, that's the main contribution of Aziz Asari uh, for this season three. And, and thank you for watching. Uh, you know what to do? Just hit the like button, hit subscribe, send me some comments. Every comment will be welcome. Uh, thank you, people. I will see you on next episode of Pack News. Peace. Bye-bye.